Hey y'all, I know it took me a long time to make another video, but so I'm just gonna do a recap of week four. This is me in class, um, taking notes. <clears throat> we do have a, what is it? Exam, quiz, something coming up. I'm just doing a recap of week, week four, but this is me actually in class earlier this week. Um, and I will say that class is pretty boring this week. It, it did rain a couple of, a couple of times this week, but it's still it's still good vibes, you know. I'm finally getting the hang of the schedule and um, getting into the rhythm of things. The first three weeks is kind of like, you know, a lot. A lot of different changes and basically just adjusting. And even though I'm still adjusting, you're probably going to con continuously adjust, but it's the whole point of just getting to the group of things. So, don't be discouraged. Um, I will say so far, Hondros is a good college um, for nursing. A program is what, whatever you make it, whatever energy you put into it, whether it be positive energy, you're going to get positive outcomes no matter what. And you stay um, focused, you know. Don't let other students who've been there before or who are currently there having a bad experience make it be bad for you. And this is on Tuesday. We have labs. They are strict about having your hair pulled up in a ponytail. Got to have your uniform on, a long sleeve white shirt, which I have up under here. I have one on. White white gym shoes and um, white socks. And this is my lab um, lab book bag, my lab bag that the school gave me. Um, and my own uh, book bag as well. So I get ready for labs. And in Michigan, you know, in the fall time, it'll get dark early. And right now, it's probably like 6 o'clock in the morning and it's dark outside. That's how it is in the fall time. So I got an hour drive to go. I'm about to put some gas in my car. And it'll it take me about an hour and 20 minutes in the morning because traffic is a little bit, an uh, hour and 25 heavier in the morning than it is it depends. It depends because in Michigan, there's a lot of construction going on. So my drive time is like, I, I, I don't know how it's going to be every morning. It might be an hour, 10 minute drive, hour, 15 minutes, hour, 20 minutes, hour, 25. But I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I'm going to try to just try to be positive and just take that ride because, it's you know, you got to think about it's a sacrifice. It's only for one year. But the gas is high. Like, I probably spend $70 a day for gas and that's a round trip like you know so that's not bad I look at it as $35, $35 to get there and $35 to get back so I do that three days a week so that's $210 a week uh, the average price of gas is $4 so driving from Michigan to Ohio to get to school for nursing is worth it so I'm going I'm to find a way, I'm going to make a way, and luckily I have a good fiancé who supports me. He's very supportive, so um, I can't imagine going through this without him. So this is me after a little break in between classes, because I have three classes um, on Wednesdays. But no, actually this is Tuesday, so this is my lab day. I only have two labs, but in between labs I'm going out to my car because... Like I said, I'm getting used to the schedule, and I know now to not try to bring too much stuff with me every time in class. But I did forget to get my stethoscope and blood pressure cuff because we do have vital signs check off today in lab for nursing um, 205. So I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just walking out to my car to get my supplies that I left and get ready for the next class. And... Um, I didn't even study study assessment. I do have um, nearly 20 years experience working as a CNA, patient care tech, and all other kind of patient care roles. So I'm really good at blood pressure and taking vital, taking vitals um, and doing everything like that. And but you know how it is in school in a in an actual clinical lab, they want you to have a check off sheet and do it a certain way. So. I got my stuff. I got me some snacks too as, I, <laughs> as I'm going back in the building. Give me a quick little snack of Snickers. And, oh, my hands are dry. It's cold outside today too. So that's that. But 
they 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 do give you a, a check off sheet for the vitals so so they know like you know hand washing introduce the patient the regular stuff for patient care when you enter the room provide privacy um make sure the environment is safe introduce yourself check they check their id badge and their birthday and their name and ask the patient the information if, the, if you can stuff like that for the check off sheet but today we doing two-part blood pressures which i'm not used to really doing that for real so that's gonna be fun to learn yep so today it was fun in, in, in school it was it was decent it wasn't a bad day but my daughter you see her in the mirror she didn't go to school today she wasn't feeling good so yeah and i asked her to take my picture but you know how kids be my little socks. I been, and I hate wearing socks, but I've been addicted to wearing socks since um I'm addicted to different looking socks for this program just to make it fun because I hate wearing socks, y'all. But these are my lab socks for today. And this is a board that my fiance got me so I can study because um I do have a exam in anatomy and physiology tomorrow. And it's, I think it's 70 something questions. And so I'm going to use this board to study. And my daughter didn't tell me that I had something on the back of my butt. It's just hilarious to me. Like, I wonder if I had this on my butt in class and nobody didn't say nothing. But it's something on the back of my butt. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> so this is me writing down, compartmentalizing things that I think oh, I should study for the uh, anatomy and physiology exam um and this is me writing it down stuff about the skin i'm focused in my own world you know that's how my brain pretty much works. you got to find ways to study for the tests that work for you you can't really sometimes study with other people me i'm not good with study groups because the way my mind processes information is different from other people so i'd rather just study on my own I feel like I'm more focused like that because other people thought processes sometimes can be a distraction. But, you know, do whatever's best for you. I'm just saying that for now. Who knows, maybe in the future, next semesters, I probably will do study groups. But for now, I'd rather just do it on my own, on my own time, at my own, my own pace, and my own system, you know. So, yep, just using this this board, and I'm, I will try to find a link for it from Amazon where he got it from. I think it was about 70 bucks. And you can mount it to the wall, which I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to see if he can give me a stand. Look at him. He getting ready for work, but he's standing, standing there talking to me. I told him to beat it. Because <laughs> I'm focused, y'all. I told him to beat it. But I'm going to miss him. He work. He, he work um. 12 hours a day, engineer, manager, hard working. But this is me the next day. Like I said, I, I love you some good, cute compression stockings. Um, they got some cute fashion, fashionable compression stockings out, socks out here. You know, like not nothing boring and basic like the grandma kind. They, they have some cute medical compression socks that you can wear to work to save your legs from getting, um, you know, broken blood vessels and swell, swollen and things like that. So this is me, the day of my exam, I'm going out the house. It's dark. Six o'clock in the morning. I just came back from um, Tim Hortons. I had to get some coffee and donuts. A little wake, wake me up um, in the morning. With me and my daughter in the morning. Now, I, I take her to school on Wednesdays. Because I got to be in school, I think, at 10, 15 on Wednesdays. So, this is me just taking her to school in the morning. But the other days, my fiancé take her. But I'm able to take her two days a week. That's why I say, like, having teamwork is important. Because going to nursing school, especially out of state, can be a lot. <clears throat> if you're doing it all on your own. But teamwork and uh, having a plan is good. Oh, and this is me later on in class. I figure out how to use this vending machine. 
They had this pizza called Tony's Pizza. You pop in the microwave for one minute. Oh my God, delicious. They had this on campus. And um, this is me when I came home from school after kind of a rough day with the exam and it raining outside, my auntie had just delivered to my house a bag with my name on it. This is at the end of week four. And um, week five actually starts tomorrow because today is Sunday. So week five starts tomorrow, which is Halloween. And they actually sent out an email saying that we can wear a Halloween costume. We'll have to wear our school uniform, but I don't, I don't think I got time for all that. We'll see. I might throw something on my head. I don't know. But anyways, so let's, let me just talk about week four. I'm going to have to do the other weeks another time. Or I might just do it all together right here. But week four, okay, let me just say, I have three classes for my first term at Hondros. I have biology, which is basically anatomy and physiology, part one. I have transition to nursing, um, and I also have critical thinking for nursing. So for my transition to nursing class, it's actually supposed to be a class for people who are already, already nurses, like LPNs becoming RNs, but uh, they have this new thing called direct entry, where if you have a, like a degree, a science degree, or um, enough college credits or some kind of, um, I think that's really it. I think you got to have college, college credits or a science degree or already be an LPN to be in this Hondro's accelerated 15-month um, registered nurse program. So in my case, I already have college degrees. I have medical experience. And uh, also, you have to take the HESI entrance exam. So like I said, this is week four, and um, this week was a good week. It, actually, it was kind of boring, though. It's kind of boring. Like, it was like a lot of talking in class that was like boring. But for my one class um, with Professor Reimer, I like her a lot. She's very, I think she's a good um, professor because she talks about things for nursing. She gave us good experiences, but also she sticks to the curriculum. So when it's time to take a test or time for us to have answers about the topics that we're talking about, we don't be lost. Professor Reimer, she's really good with um, making the subjects for each week relatable during lecture. And that's important because um, otherwise it'd be boring. And for me personally, it's hard for me to learn. If I'm bored, it's hard for me to learn. So um, this week, Okay, so my other class is transitioning to nursing, which is Nursing 205, and it's a different professor. She's new to the campus. She just started um, this summer. So she started like two months before I started. And a lot of things she's still getting familiar with. It's hard for her to like maneuver or whatever, but she's really a sweetheart. Professor Nelson is a sweetheart. But I will say that for the class, we have something called a pre-class assignment. For both the nursing classes, we have pre-class assignments, which means it's an assignment that has to be handwritten and, and scanned and submitted um, before class start. It could be one minute before class start, 10 minutes before class start, or hour before class start, but you gotta make sure the assignment is done before class start. So in class, um, I'm like, y'all, I got an F on my pre-class assignment this week. And um, I was talking about it. And I guess people probably were scared to talk about it. But once I started talking about it, they started talking about it too. They're like, I got an F2, I got an F2. Long story short, it seemed like only two people in the class got an A on the assignment. Now this, this assignment is, to me is either an A or an F because it's really just our own personal thoughts. And some of it, some of it is um, based on um, facts, but for the most part, I don't see how nobody can get an F on assignment unless they just totally didn't do it. So me personally, I don't I don't get Fs on assignment. So I was like, oh no, I'm not going for this. But something ain't right. I got to figure out what it is. So once I started talking about me getting an F on my assignment, the class started talking about it too, and we emailed the um the person who they told us to talk about our grade, and come to find out, this lady not even our professor. She just helping out our professor for the class, and she gave us Fs. And basically, she said the information was missing. 
but the information they said was missing, I had on my paper. So long story short, our professor said she's going to take over and grade the papers herself um, to alleviate any misunderstandings. So it's been it's been since Tuesday, and I'm still waiting for her to change my grade from an F to whatever's going to be A, B, or C. But which I think it should be an A because I don't see why why would it be an F. So she took my paper and said she gonna give she gonna give us a um, review and look at the grade and make sure she changed it because looking at my paper she know I don't I don't deserve, deserve to get no F or no I should get an A honestly. Long story short, okay, so let me let me move on anyways. But so far week four, um, I like the anatomy teacher, um, Doctor M. You can call him Dr. M, Dr. Malaki, um, Professor Malaki, Professor M, whatever you want to call him. He's a really nice guy. P people think he's mean. He, I mean, he can't be looked at as mean because he's very strict. But me being a grown woman in a nursing program and, and in college, period, I know better because I'm a experienced student to know that college is not the same thing as high school, and especially nursing program. You have to earn you have to earn your grade, earn everything that you want, you have to earn. And he's a serious man. Me personally, I'd rather have a serious teacher who's going to teach me and I have to earn my grade than a teacher who's nice and bubbly, but doesn't teach me anything. And I'm I'm setting up, being set up for failure. It is me personally. So me, Dr. Malaki, I like him a lot. Um, people say he's um, mean, his class is hard, but I feel like he gives you everything that you need to be successful in his classroom. Like I'm talking about from the from the test, I mean from, from the quiz to the lab assignments, to the classroom lectures, to the to the um, PowerPoint presentations that he do in class. Like to me, if if you're not studying, then maybe you have you would struggle with it. I'm sorry, if you you not studying, you might as well just not even come to his class because you're not going to pass. If you are studying, some people might still struggle. So I understand that part. But for the most part, I feel like he gives you everything you need to be successful in his classroom. Even if you are getting C's, that's still good for his classroom. So far, we had two exams. No, we, we had one exam and one quiz. And I got an A on the quiz. I got a C on my exam, which is 60 something questions, which is good actually for his class. Because he, he said people never pass his exam. So me getting a C, I feel like, okay, it's the same thing as me getting an A. <laughs> um, but so far, I got all A's in his class. I got like nine A's. No, I got 10 A's and one C in his class. And this is week four. And on Tuesday, we have to do a practical, which basically is um, we have to label different parts of the eye, different parts of the ear, different parts of the, of the limbs. We have to label different parts of the brain, um, different layers of the skin, different parts of the skin. And we have to do that all just just from just from looking at it. It's a, it's a visual lab practical. So um, and also got to make sure that we spell it right. So it's one thing to like just put it down, like, like label it. But you got to also spell it right. So that's 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 coming up. And um, but so far, I'm doing good in my classes. It's just um, I like the school. And I would say that a lot of people who started from orientation, who didn't come back first day, who didn't come back. Um, and right now is week four. We fast start tomorrow. So that's like the halfway point for the 10, 10, 10 week semesters. This semester is 10 weeks. So tomorrow will be like the halfway point for the semester. And it's like time going back fast. Like I drive from Michigan an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes there in the same amount of time back three days a week. So I'm driving three hours a day, three days a week. I'm, I'm driving nine hours to, to go to school um, for a nursing program. But I look at it as a challenge. I look at it as um, a sacrifice and something that I really want to do. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to complain. And um, like I said, so far it's been a good experience. It's besides one class, I have a teacher instructor who was new to the school and she's still adjusting um, and learning, learning the ways and even the syllabus that she that we, we have for the classroom. She didn't write the syllabus. So that's that's I know it's hard for her. It's hard for us. But we, I guess we pretty, pretty much figured everything out together. Uh, she's a nice teacher. She's a she's a very um, I can tell she's a very experienced nurse. She's older 
And um, so I did get a, a B on her quiz. And I think I have an exam for her coming up in two weeks. But anyways, um, week four was good. I learned a lot in Professor Reimer's class for um, critical thinking as a nurse. And I like the way she um, makes us, she pretty much beats, beats it in your head to know like it's the difference between thinking like a nurse and, act, and acting and doing the job as a nurse. Like it's two separate things. But they go together, but you got to know how to plan and think and know what's what's about to happen, what's happening all at the same time and what might happen. So it's like she wants you to think like from the possibilities, what's currently happening and what could happen. I like her a lot. Um, I had my first exam for biology last week on, on, on week four. And they had two proctors come in, which is basically people just standing in the room, walking around to make sure nobody's cheating, stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I think I think it was a good week. And um, week five, I think it's going to be a good week. It's um, a little stressful because I start my job. The job that I worked in the hospital doing patient care on telemetry before COVID hit in 2020. And I got COVID and I, it made me pretty much handicapped for a year. But I'm going back to that job, I'm on my same unit. And I was told that most of the people who work with me, a lot, a lot of them left, it's a new manager, but she seemed nice, I met her at my interview. So with Hondros, they tell you, they don't, they don't want you to miss school or lab for no reason. They don't, they don't even want you working. Like most nursing programs don't want you working, but I know a lot, a lot of people do it. But the Hondros, because the, the classes, the class work is, is so like accelerated, so fast paced, like you can have so many assignments in one week. Like I kid you not, I probably can have like 15 major things I got to do each week between lab, lecture, assignments, quizzes, um, exams, and um, practicing practicing for um, lab lab assessments. So when people work and go to and go to school for nursing, I think it's amazing. Like they're like a robot to be able to sacrifice and pull the extra energy to be able to work and still do your homework. Because even just last night, yesterday was Saturday, I did homework from like eight thirty in the morning to about. 2 30 in the morning so i did homework for like what is that like 16 hours 17 maybe like 18 hours almost 24 hours i was doing homework and i was like just sitting in one spot doing my homework i probably would get up to like get get some get something to eat but actually my fiance would bring me some something to eat or have something door dash to me and i just be sitting there eating watching tv and doing my homework like especially eaqs it's like a big thing at Hondros. Like, if you got a class with EAQs, make sure you do them EAQs. Um, which you, you once you attend the school, you'll find out what they are. It's pretty much just like these online um, mandatory. If you don't do it, that's on you. But it's just basically this online test or assignments, and it just uh, pretty much tests you on the subject, different subjects. And the questions, and you might have like 140 questions. I, I think it's, um, I think the more that you get wrong, the more questions they add, add to as you test them, but I don't know. But most of the time when I be doing maths, I be having like 120, 140 questions. And it, it can take me up to three hours or four hours to do one, no, maybe longer than that. I'm gonna say three to four hours to do one EAQ assignment. But the EAQs, one good thing about it is that you don't have to do them all like at a certain time. They pretty much all are due by 5 p.m. at at the end of, end of the 10 week semester. So you have 10 weeks to do all the EAQs. 
And I think it might be like 12 of them in there. Or maybe 10 of them in there. I don't know. I'm going to look and see. But it's a, it's a couple of them in there. And you have 10 weeks to complete them. And even though it might sound like you got a lot of time to do it, but when you got other assignments, if you're working, studying, and doing stuff for other classes, it's easy to get behind because the EAQs, like I said, are just for one EAQ, it can take you a whole day to do, do that assignment. But the one good thing is that you are able to save it and come back to it. Week four was born and it did rain a lot too, but I just had to keep on telling myself like, even when it's born, keep telling myself like, you're going to have good days. You Just like anything else, you're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. But whatever you do, just block out block out any negativity coming from other students because you don't want that energy to transfer onto you. You don't want their thoughts or their anxiety to become your anxiety. And actually, um, Professor Malaki, Dr. Malaki, who I, who I, he probably one of my favorite teachers right now for this semester. Like, I just love him so much. Like, when, when he's not in class and people think he's serious and mean, when we, when we, um, not in class, he's funny. He smiles a lot. He's very attentive. Um, if you want to see him about anything, you can make an appointment. You can email him uh, to see him about anything, talk to him about anything. Like, But during class, when you got to be respectful, make sure you listen. Don't cut him off when he's talking. If you got a question, let him finish his thought process first so, so you don't interrupt him. But anything you need, um, he pretty much gives you. But my point was, Dr. Mlaki told us during tests that he has a rule and I forgot what the words he used, but he pretty much said that when students come in on test day, he don't want nobody asking any questions to, to other students about how they feel about the test or um, asking no questions about the test because he felt like that's making other, making other students have anxiety, stress, and worry. And, and they can make the whole class be stressed out and worried from one, from one person, one person having anxiety and just being nervous in classroom. So he said um, if he see that, and people, uh, and people are not able to check their energy or their anxiety, he will, he will put you out of class or ask you to, to leave if you can't control your anxiety and um, stressing the whole class out. And, I, and there's actually one girl um, who come in. Okay, so if you got an online class, when it comes time for exams and um, quizzes and things like that, you have to come in to take your quizzes on campus. So um, on quiz days, the, the whole classroom was normal, just normally just on campus students, the whole like online and campus students come in to, to the classroom, to that scheduled classroom. So, but it's one girl who, who come in on quiz and exam days, her anxiety be up here. And when I saw that, I said, um, I'm not sitting by her because she be rocking in the chair. She, I'm talking about she do like big, long strokes with her rocks. She rock and she shake her legs like real, she shake her legs a lot. So I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta make sure I sit in the back in the corner away from everybody because I don't want no interruptions. Like her energy is so like nervous and I just, mm -mm, it's not fair during test day. So there's one good thing, you know, Dr. Dr. Malaki said that he don't want any students dumping their energy, their negative energy or anxiety onto other students because it's not fair and I agree. But like I said, so far so good. Um, for week four, week five is a busy, busy week. But I'm just looking forward to her changing my grade from an F. Because <laughs> it's, it's been um, since Tuesday and today is Sunday. And I check every day, I check twice a day. And she still haven't changed it yet. So hopefully I'll be no drama behind that. I start back in the hospital on November the 7th. Um, I'll be working two twelves part time. And I'm doing that so I can become a nurse intern while I'm still in the nursing program so I can get more hands-on experience as a registered nurse student. Instead of just doing all book work and all clinicals, I want to actually be working in the hospital so I can get fresh, hands-on experience with, with real patients and um, in real time as I'm learning. But the school at Hondros has a attendance policy that I want you, they prefer for you not to work. But if you do, hey, that's on you. And um, you can't use work as an excuse why you miss, miss class, miss labs, or miss um, clinicals. Because the only thing you can miss clinicals and labs for is for 
a serious doctor's doctor's um visit. You have to have a doctor's note for that. If you have jury duty, you can miss for that. But you got to have proof for that. And let me see what else. I think that's it. Like it had to be something like real serious, not nothing like not nothing said. You, you, you like they even say it on say it on orientation and syllabus and everything else for each class. If you oversleep, they don't. That's not a reason for for them to give you credit for credit. That's not a reason for them to give you an excuse to make up for your miss miss on clinical or or lab days. If you oversleep, if you don't have a babysitter, that's not a good reason to miss class, um, especially labs or lectures. So, the main thing I know is a serious illness, one of our doctors' excuse, or um, jury duty, or something that's like real serious. See, so week seven, I do have an exam and I have, and I have two labs on Tuesdays. So my orientation for work, I was told that Tuesday and Wednesday are critical days that I can't miss. But I told my manager, my hiring manager and HR that I'm in a nursing program and I can't miss Tuesday. So they said they'll try to work it out with me to see what they can do. And so far, I haven't heard nothing what they're going to do. But me personally, I'm going to tell you that I'm, at, I'm not missing school because I don't want to I don't want to want to make up. I don't want to make up that. um That lab day, I don't want to do no makeup test. I don't want to come in on a Saturday when I really can just like make up my work orientation. First of all, I'm a rehire, so I don't I, I'm a rehire. So I don't know what it is that I'm missing by not by coming in late for for um, orientation so my plan is to just go to school because my lab is just from 8 to 10 15 and then i think 10 15 to 12 15 so i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave school and then and then drive back home to michigan and and hopefully i probably get here by 12 o'clock because I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave my one lab a little bit early and I'm going to go to work from 12 to 4.30 or 5, whatever time it is, for um, orientation. I don't want to miss lab because Hondos are, they got, a, they got a serious and strict rule about that. And I don't want to fall behind. I don't want to miss anything. I feel like at my job orientation, whatever I'm missing, they can give me the handouts for it. I can get filled in. I can learn about it the next day. I'm sure it's not nothing, nothing special. But the nursing program is something totally different.